There's been a lot of talking about C. diff lately and uh, within the next couple of minutes we would like to give you a better understanding of the nature of C. difficile infections. C. difficile is a bacterial infection, so we call it C. difficile infection. It's a minority of patients actually developing symptoms of C. difficile. That may happen in the community as well as in the hospital. And when you're looking at the hospital, we usually have uh, less than five patients at a given time point in the hospital with C. diff. Those patients are isolated. They don't have any contact to other patients. Uh, so it's a minimal risk to contract C. diff within the hospital. In our patient population that comes into the hospital, of course, that's a population that's older, um, with diabetes, immunosuppression, and other, I would say, risk factors for infection. Um, they carry C. diff in the range of 30 to 50 percent. And um, actually to develop symptoms, it typically needs additional, I would call them risk factors again, and this is typically antibiotic exposure. Now, of course, that happens in the community, so that's why we see patients coming in with uh, C. diff infections but more importantly in the hospital environment. So even patients being colonized before coming into the hospital, the transmission does not necessarily need to take place in the hospital, uh, but because we have to give them antibiotics because they have any infections when they come in, they will develop the symptoms down the road. So there's an ongoing surveillance for C. diff and we take each single case very seriously. Now if we see a cluster, so more than two or three patients within a given time period on a particular unit, we may need to uh, declare an outbreak. Um, declare an outbreak basically means raising awareness inside the hospital as well as for the community. It means that we will emphasize the importance of cleaning, do additional cleaning, uh, emphasize hand hygiene, and usually we start reviewing every single antibiotic course. So giving just a second look to each course of antibiotics uh, to lower the antibiotics, antibiotic pressure. One key measure each single patient as well as visitors can take is just cleaning the hands after they went to, uh, to the bathroom because it's uh, transmitted fecal to all so as long as they are, there is no stool and no bacteria from the stool in the environment there's no risk for transmission. For visitors, family members, uh, visiting, the, visiting the loved ones in the hospital, um, what they can do of course again would be hand hygiene before entering the patient room and in the case that the patient has a C. diff infection uh, to wear the gown, the gloves that are already in front of each of those rooms. I think it's important to understand that for the general public, C. diff is not a risk. Um, there are patients who are at the high risk, but for visitors, in particular otherwise healthy people, just coming into the hospital, visiting or having an appointment, C. diff is not a risk.